As the number of casualties from the anti-finance bill protest continue to rise, the next cause of action is to seek justice for the victims. And as Mio now says, this could even be before the International Criminal Court, ICC. We are going to document every case, perhaps even revisit the International Criminal Court, and, and this time talk to them about the atrocities committed against the Kenyan people by a regime which is heartless, which calls his own citizens Traitors, I mean, to, they're committing treasonous, what was it, treasonous acts. And we are yet to be told who are the financiers of this very organic youth movement, organic, in their thousands, and they just want to claim their country back. Azimio co-principal Kalondo Musioka says the violence witnessed on Tuesday need to be addressed. You can see that style of abducting student leaders, of terrorizing them, perhaps trying to indoctrinate them. This is not the country our forefathers fought for. And I want to look at William Ruto in the face, I hope he's looking at me, and tell him to rise above himself and realize he has instruments of power and order the, the stoppage of killing of young Kenyans. The WEPA leader maintains that the number of victims continues to rise as he called out the government for what he termed as lack of empathy for those who died by the gun. The brutality witnessed and use of live bullets, Kalonzo says, must have been as a result of orders from above. It is obvious he must have di given the direction, the directive, shoot to kill. Because those snipers would not have blown up the young brain we saw at the mortuary the other day. Law Society of Kenya President Faith Odiambo says LSK is committed to pushing for accountability for all casualties. Odiambo, who was at KNH, said the society will not allow the number of those who are dead to be swept under the carpet. What we say is that we will not allow any, um, any of uh, the numbers to be swept under the carpet. We are working with other human rights groups. And we are trying to collate and also working with the doctors to collect the numbers of deaths so that we'll be able to table a proper report and also table it um, to IPO and to members of the public. Because you cannot fake these things, you cannot hide these things. The government must be held accountable for each and every death that has been shed for the finance. LSK, however, disagrees with the court ruling to allow deployment of KDF on the streets. The society had gone to court to stop the exercise. Our concern is that the kind of fear, the kind of tankers that we're seeing in these streets, it looks like it's a movie um, that you're seeing the, the Kenya Defense Forces patrolling. And you know, this is a challenge also to the head of state because he recently released quite a number of police forces to go to Haiti. Yet now, the call for justice for the Kenya anti-tax protest victims continues to grow. The government is receiving criticism from all fronts, and now the Hague consideration by Kalonzo opens a new chapter in the fight for justice. Brian Amuai, K24, Nairobi.